Times. Good morning and welcome to Creighton Craft. What you are looking at is quite simply the best resin on the market right now. A company from Canada, Art Resin, who literally are supplying the world with fantastic resin to make the most beautiful things for your home. Something like this, you look at it and you think, I could never do that. Well, let me tell you, with the expert tuition and the right product, you can. That is pretty much guaranteed. We have the most incredible resin for you. I mean, take a look at the things that you could be doing when it comes to painting, when it comes to jewellery, when it comes to photographs, when it comes to woodwork. If you are looking, oh, well, we are busy on the phone lines already. If you are looking for a resin that is going to give you clarity, because this dries super clear. I mean, some of the others may be yellow, mightn't they? But this is going to dry clear. You've got something that's thick, something that is glossy, something that is shiny, something that is going to dry solid and hard and give you that va-va-voom with your products. It's got yellowing protection in it, so it's not going to yellow. You know, you may have seen resins in the past. You're like, oh, it's nice, but it looks a bit murky. This is not going to do that. It will not discolour because it is actually chemically engineered not to discolour. Uh, you have got a self-levelling property with this as well. So your project's going to be flat. So think about trays in your home. Think about photos. Think about frames. Think about coasters. Those things that you need to be flat because you don't want your glass wobbling. Then this is going to be perfect for that as well. And if you're thinking about using this where in areas where there may be food, so maybe you want to take a photo of the grandkids or your favourite pet and you put some resin over the top and then you put a cake on top of that and sandwiches you don't need to worry because this is completely food safe as well it comes from a company that online literally right now on Instagram have hundred and fifty seven thousand followers that is incredible is it not we have got a starter kit for you today we have got resin and hardener for everybody we have everything that you need we just need an expert to show us what's what and they come no bigger than the lady that started this company a few years ago now and it is still going strong and she's flown in especially from Canada to be with us here today. We are honoured, we are thrilled, and we want to say welcome to the family, the queen of art resin herself. That's what I'm going to call her from now on in. It's the fabulous Rebecca Zach. Come on in, Woo! lovely lady. Oh. Yes, indeed. Indeed. What Thank an introduction. Thank you. It Thank is you so, so nice to have you here. I'm so happy to be here. All the way from Canada. Whereabouts in Canada are you from? <sighs> Just outside of Toronto. Okay, so yes. a lovely place. It's lovely. It's lovely. And this is the first time for our family in the UK. But you have a UK connection, don't I, you? I do. I do. Yes. No, my grandfather was born in Liverpool. Ah, Liverpool, one of our favourite cities, which is brilliant. Well, yes. well Are you going to get a chance to visit Liverpool while you're here? As soon as we're done here. You're going to go to Liverpool? Yes, Good I'm on stuff. the way over. Um, So Art Resin started, when about eight years ago? Yes, so yes. So what was the idea? Because you were an art teacher, weren't you? I was an art teacher, and my husband, who is my business partner as well, mm. he was in video, and we're both artists. That's how we met. And we were going to art shows, and we were looking at this, this new product that we were seeing. It was just starting to come out. And we thought, well, what is that? We had to go the old fashioned route of doing our research. <laughs> Back then there wasn't a whole lot of information online. And so we talked to the artists, we found out what it was, and we thought, well, this is excellent. This yeah. is great. If we love it, everyone else will love it too. And we started to work with a chemist who helped us develop something that was really, really good for artwork. Because there's epoxy resin is for all different purposes. Yes, it is. You know, some people use it on their boats. Some people use it um, in industrial capacities. And this is really for art itself. So it's made to keep the artist safe yeah. and to keep the artwork safe at the same time. Well, this is it. Let's talk about the starter kit that we've got this morning because yeah. I think anybody, where well, people are going for this already, Rebecca, the starter kit has everything that you need to get yourself started and beyond with your art resin journey. Take us through what we actually have. Let's start with the two bottles. So we have the resin and the hardener. Right. So when I say epoxy resin as a kit, it comes with a resin and a hardener. You need both together. Okay. Just to say over 10% of the stock is already gone. Oh, my goodness. It's going to be well, a busy morning, I feel. Exciting. Get your well, you resin in your basket this is the type of product that is um, it works for so many different people because it is so very versatile yeah. and it, you can use it in all different applications and you'll see me demonstrate a lot of different things this morning but back to the kit so, so we have those two there it's a resin and a hardener you're gonna mix those one to one so one to one ratio exactly so it's nice and easy we made it simple for people now we and also have our blowtorch what's that for yes so well first of all we have the 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 stir stick and the, ah. the, the spreaders you're gonna use that to mix the product up and to spread it how you like. And then the torch is uh, 
is the best tool for popping bubbles. Ah, because we don't want bubbles, because obviously this is going to be clear, it's going to be solid, it's going to be shiny, yes. um, it's going to be glossy, it's going to give you that effect that you want. You don't want bubbles. No, and when you stir it, you know, you have to stir it because that's how you catalyze the mm. mixture and you start that chemical reaction. The, and it does introduce bubbles at the same time, but you don't want those to cure in your resin. So the torch is a nice little you just hit it with the torch. I'm loving that noise. And it <laughs> it's done. And it really yeah. takes care of the bubbles in a heartbeat. So you'll see, and it's very satisfying. We are going to show all of this this morning. Now, also, of course, you get your gloves, so that's to yes. protect yourself, of yes, course, which is just, good. It's sticky, right? Uh, resin is sticky, and so you want to just make sure that you've got your, your hands protected. And then let's and talk about these fabulous things as well. These are your stands. Now, what would we be using these for, Rebecca? So if you are coating something where you'd like to actually coat, not just the top, but the sides as well. So if we're talking about something like this, yes. which is gorgeous. Yes, so you want that resin to drip down over the sides, but you don't want your resin to actually adhere the project to the tabletop. Oh, you can see it with the photo we've got there as well. Exactly, and so that's what those stands are for. It just props it up so that you can um, let that resin fall over the sides neat and tidy, and then you won't actually stick it to the tabletop. Um, I think it's incredible. Now, already 10% of the stock of this has gone. 15% of the stock has gone on this now as well. Oh my uh, gosh. We've got lots of beautiful samples in the studio. I and mean, I am going to say we're going to try and show you as many things throughout the hour. Uh, don't forget that the lovely Rebecca is also on our sister channel, Craft, um, Craft Extra, at 11 o'clock this morning as well. So, busy day for this lady. If there's any stock left, come with me, lovely lady. Come yes, over here because yes, I want to show yes. some more. Uh, these are just stunning. This is the kind of thing that you could be doing. We've got some items this morning that will allow you to add colour, like metallics or neons or whatever you fancy to your resin as well so whether you want something quite sort of demure or whether you want to bring on the full Vegas color I mean look <laughs> at that it is just <laughs> glorious um, and you can see how flat this is as well um, this resin I mean you're a stickler for quality Rebecca absolutely you didn't want anything that would discolor nothing that wouldn't self-level nothing that would give the anything but the perfect end result that's right that's right and that's really what we were aiming for and that's really what we got so you can see here you can put objects in it if you'd like to embed um, um, people get really creative with this. They do, you know, beer caps or they do coins or um, plaster scene even. There's no end to the creativity. So basically, that you can have. if you can embed it, you're going to do it with a resin. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> love that. Fifteen percent plus of the stock has gone already on this one. Please get this. And please welcome Rebecca to the family with your emails this morning as well. If you have any questions about resin, because I do think if you've not tried it before, it could be your must do craft pastime for twenty twenty three and beyond. So oh, it's like a bit to, addictive. Oh, I was going to say, once, <laughs> once you've embedded, you're going to keep embedding, aren't yeah. you, quite frankly? Uh, <laughs> if you do want to get your emails in, remember, it's studio at createandcraft.com. Now, of course, if you want to go for your first item, the starter kit, uh, you are going to get the hardener, and, of course, you get the resin, you get the blowtorch, you get the stands, uh, you get the stirrer, and, of course, you get these as well, which will allow you to flatten out your resin to make sure that you get perfect results. Mm -hmm. 529504 is your item number on that one. Three ways to order. The best way is to go to the website and check out the entire art resin range. Brand new to Create and Craft today. So excited about this. The website, tell us, Harry, all the W's what? Creatingcraft.com. Creatingcraft.com. So do check it out accordingly. <laughs> 890178. Uh, now, we do have come with me, lovely Rebecca. Uh, we have got a little try me size. If you're thinking, like, oh, I'd like to have a go, but I'm not too sure. Uh, we've got so, well, we've got the small, and then we've got massive as well coming up. We've got lots of different sizes for you <laughs> of the hardener and the resin. Now, obviously, as Rebecca said, it's a one to one ratio. So having the two bottles together means that one will run out when the other one runs out. That's right, yes. Which is perfect. Yes. Yes. Uh, that's 31.49 on that one. I am going to say, though, all of the other options for the actual sizes, the larger size of the art resin, do have FlexiPay on them. And also the starter kit had FlexiPay on it as well, didn't it? So obviously if you put something in your basket with the starter kit or with one of the other resin sets, then you will have FlexiPay as well, which means you can split the cost. Um, with this size here, if we're talking like an average size project, because obviously they're all going to differ, mm -hmm. uh, how many projects do you think we get out of that one? Well, it depends on what size the project yes, is, this right? Is true. So this this little guy will do uh, two square feet. Okay, that's not bad. Yes, and so usually, you know, we have this size kit for people who want to make maybe like little jewelry pieces, mm. smaller pieces, or for the person who's never tried this before and they think, I, I don't know, how, I, how do I know if I'm going to love it or not? So things like the jewelry or the coast is perfect. Yes, yes. And so they'll try the small one and usually you know what happens. 
they start small and then they start to graduate <laughs> and they go bigger, bigger, bigger. <laughs> it's always the way you want more as well. Could yeah. you just pass me the before and after as well, yes. Rebecca? Because this is fabulous. This for me made me think, oh, I need this in my life. Because look, I mean, this is, uh, this is the Art Resin logo here. So if you're looking for them online, this is what you look for, of That's course. It, yeah. uh, have you got a YouTube channel and stuff as well? Of course. Of course. <laughs> Of course. All kinds of demonstrations. Yeah, so lots of information online. You're mm. never on your own with art resin. You can see mm. this is before, but once you art resin it, look, you can see the difference that it makes. I mean, that really is sensational, isn't it? Mm. And that's what you could be doing with your home decor, your, uh, well, whatever you fancy, your jewellery, your coasters, your photos. It's entirely up to you. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got demos galore, so we're lining them up and ready to go. But let's uh, show you some of the other items that we've got on the show, and then we will crack on with our demonstrations. Uh, we're going to start with our first one here. Uh, this is our larger bottles that we've got for you here so you've got your 1.89 litres of the resin and the same for of course the hardener uh, that's 342731 is your item number on that one 342731 is your item number there uh, 116 pounds and 99 pence your price this is the big boy uh, but of course you, we have got flexi on that flexi will be there so you can split that down into two or three interest free flexi payments we will find that out for you uh, next up for you uh, the moulds. Now, if you would like to go for the moulds, we've got these for you this morning. We've got your silicon moulds for you, if you'd like to go for three. Your three cavity moulds. Um, are those going to be perfect for things like your coasters, Rebecca? Yeah? That's right, yeah. Coasters. Um, we do call it a coaster mould, but it's really just, it's a nice perfect little shape for whatever you want to do. If you wanted to just make art and put it on display, if you wanted to embed something special, if uh, that sort of thing. Can really. you embed photos and things like that? Of this? course you oh, can, yes, exciting. yes, of course you can. Uh, 232072 is your item number on that one for your three cavity mold. Um, I'm just going to show you this as well because look, this is gorgeous. Something like that as a piece of artwork on the wall. I mean, just stunning. Mm -hmm. How has that been done? Well, that is actually some alcohol ink that's been used on Yupo paper, a little bit of gold marker, and then the art resin on top. So really, art resin is like a clear nail polish for your art. It seals everything in and protects it, but it also just makes the colors pop. Um, you can see in the, the before and after is a really good example of how the colors are really saturated. Yeah, changes, doesn't under it? Under the art resin, absolutely. Um, yeah, so very colorful, very, very um, saturated color. And it just finishes the it's piece. It's just gorgeous. I it find is. that, um, so I'm an artist as well. Yeah. This is how we started out. My husband and I are making art and then wanting something to really um, captivate buyers and people who were looking at our artwork. And it was always the pieces that were resined that people would gravitate to. And so you know what that means. Yeah. It means you have to resin everything. <laughs> exactly. Everything needs to be resin. Are you happy for people to sell things as well? I mean, if they make things you know, to sell for charity of or for course, their own crafty habits? Of course. Habit? I mean, we have so many people that this is their life lifeline because you know like it, it's original art and yeah. people are looking for that in as to decorate well, their it home. protects as well does it let's dive on into our demos because I'm gagging to see this in action um, okay. who are these fabulous chaps here well I'm very excited to have my puppies with me today these Look are these two this is summer and Teddy how gorgeous are they? Is yes. some of the big one Teddy the small one? Uh, that's right. And these are COVID dogs. Oh. You know, I have COVID to thank for my lovely puppies, oh, my friends. Oh, how lovely. One of the yes. good things that came out it of COVID. It was a silver lining, let's just say that. Absolutely. But we are going to resin this photo of them. So it's just a, it's a photo that we've printed off on glossy paper. Glossy paper works best. And we are just going to mix up some art resin again, one to one. We're going to stir for three minutes and we're going to pour it on top. Okay, now with and this first demo, because obviously normally with TV we kind of cut corners because we don't have, we only have an hour. Sure. But with this demo, we're going to do it in real time. So we will be stirring it for three minutes as well. It'll give me a chance to give you some stock updates sure. and stuff. So that's good. Sure. So where do we begin? Okay, well, we are going to get a measuring cup and do some measuring. So it doesn't matter which one you do first. You've got resin, you've got hardener. As long as you mix that, or sorry, as long as you measure that quite accurately, that is the most important part. And... That's it. That's really all there is to it. So now the great thing about this as well, remember we said before, there are no. This is non-toxic. There are no fumes. I mean, obviously we recommend you know a ventilated room. You know, be sensible. But there are no fumes. There are no VOCs. Now, what is a VOC? VOC, volatile yeah. organic compound. So that's your fumes, isn't it's it? It's fumes. Yes. Okay. Well, we don't yes. want any of those, which is good because there's none of those in here at all, and no solvents as well. I mean, I do think when we think of resin, we think oh, it's going to be stinky. It's going to be overbearing. It's going to be like headache mm -hmm. making. I'm not a doctor. But I mean, this sounds like, like it's as good as it possibly can be. Well, it is. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. You don't have to be a doctor to to know that. Exactly. <laughs> Which is good. I don't think I've got the intelligence for a doctor. Uh, okay. So we've measured that out. We're going to do the same here. I just did 600 mils. 
See, there's something exciting about this as well, just the action of doing it. It's like being in a science lab, isn't it? <laughs> well, you know, I liken it to baking because when you bake, you need to be accurate with your measurements. Yes. And it's the same here. We want to be accurate. We don't want to be wishy-washy. We want to make sure that if we, if we do 600 of the hardener, we do 600 mils of the resin, and that's really uh, all it's going to take. Now, can I ask a question? How, sure. how, how do you know how much you need for a particular project? I mean, I know there's lots of inspiration online, which yeah. we can watch. But yeah. obviously, for a project like this, do you just eyeball it? Or do you just, can you sort of do a bit and you think, well, that's not enough, I'll do another measure on there? Or? We do have a, we do have a, a resin calculator online at artresin.com. But we also, uh, we just say that um, for that 946 mil kit, yes. that does eight square feet. Okay, fabulous. So you can sort of judge it from there so as well. So any information that you need, I mean, obviously, if it's not on our website, createcraft.com, it will be on artresin.com. Yes, and Fabulous. It's, it's, you just plug it in there, plug in the, the dimensions, and it'll tell you exactly how much you need of each. So here I am, I've got half and half in my measuring uh, bowl now here. Now that's going to take three minutes to stir that. Yeah. Right. If you, if what I will do is, whilst you're just stirring that, I'm going to remind you of the starter kit, because already 15% of that stock has gone. In that starter kit, you are getting everything you need to get going and literally produce the most brilliant art resin items. You will get a bottle, and not the small bottle, you're getting a good big bottle of the hardener and the resin there. You are also getting your stirrer, of course, to do the stirring, which of course Rebecca's doing at the moment. Uh, then you've also got your stands if you are thinking about pouring onto something to protect your surfaces and also to stop it you know just pooling and sticking things to the table uh, you've got your stands there as well you've got your gloves for protection always be protected my friends uh, you've got these as well which are your sort of squares for sort of scraping and we're well, not scraping for flattening and uh, layering leveling everything out and then also your blowtorch because bubbles we don't want you so that's where the blowtorch comes into its own also whilst we're here just to say be inventive because once you start using art resin you never know what you might be trying to embed those are coffee beans genuine coffee beans embedded in that I think that is absolutely fabulous we saw just now as well you know with the washers that you have there as well and I love that because Chris our director said there's nothing wishy-washy about that resin is that no there isn't it is as clear as the day is long I mean also you can see as well if you are using your craft products whatever it may be you know maybe your cadence products maybe your mixed media products you know using them within the resin itself uh, we've got three flexi oh gilding flakes in that good call Meg producer like that uh, three flexi payments on this one it's 99.99 let's get that purple price I don't want to see any blue prices on this one we'll get the red price in fact look three flexi payments of 30 pounds one payment today, one in a month's time, and one in two months' time. As soon as the first payment comes through to us, all of this resin glory will be yours. It will be winging its way to you. 529504, a third of the stock has gone. Busier and busier for this one this morning. I'm not surprised. How gorgeous is that? I mean, that's just beautiful. I mean, that could be a photo. That could be something you've created. It could be whatever you want. And just making it A, protected, giving it longevity, and turning it into even more of a beautiful decorative piece. Mm -hmm. um, how are we doing with the stirring? We're good. We're good. We're ready to pour this now. Okay, lovely. So when I stirred this up, I introduced quite a few bubbles. And now, with the bubbles, obviously, I know we've got the blowtorch. If people, you know, are going for resin and they think, well, I don't want to give the starter kit, can you use things like a hairdryer and stuff like that? Or is that a no no? Um, or a heat gun? It's really not hot enough. Okay. If you want the easiest way to take care of the bubbles, you're going to use the torch. Lovely and you'll stuff. see it's going to happen in one second. That's why that starter kit really is put together to give you the accuracy, the precision, it and the It really is everything you need, exactly. Okay, so. Um, uh, when I was stirring, what I was actually doing is I was catalyzing this mixture because this is going to go from a liquid to a solid by chemical reaction. How long does it take to, do we call it curing, doesn't it, the dry? Yeah, How long curing. does that take? It's going to take 24 hours. Oh, nice. Yeah, and if, I would say like in about eight hours, you could probably touch it and it wouldn't be sticky anymore. Do you still have that temptation to stick your finger into it? Sometimes, yes, yeah. yeah, sometimes. <laughs> I have to resist the temptation. But anyways, at 24 hours, then you're good to go. You can hang it on your wall, you can pack it up and give it to a friend, whatever you're going to do. Okay, All right, so the mixture's ready? ready, so how yes. do we know that's ready? Just we've because stirred I just enough. stirred it for three minutes. Okay, fab, if, you, yeah. if you're doing it properly and you count three minutes, that is long enough. Lovely stuff. Okay, and here we go. We're just going to just go right for it. Oh, see, this excites me already. You see it has the consistency of clear honey. Yes, that's a very good uh, description. Yeah, so it's nice and thick. I mean, this is the thing, and this is going to dry solid, hard, shiny, glossy. Yes. I love the fact that it's yes. there perfectly straight away. Yes. You can see already it's self-leveling, isn't it? It does. It, it self-levels to about an eighth of an inch. 
Um, if you were to pour this in a mold, which is has walls to it, then you could pour a little bit thicker. Okay. Um, but really, this is how thick it's going to go. So I'm going to use my spreader here, and I'm just going to guide the resin to where I would like it to go. You can if see. You, that's so satisfying watching yeah. that. <laughs> doing it. I imagine it's even more satisfying. Really um, if you are putting it into molds, I mean, do you need to sort of prep the mold with like corn flour or anything beforehand, or is oh, it literally just not. the resin no, no, goes no. in? Right, no, no, no. You you want to just use a silicone mold because the resin does not stick to silicone. So that means that it will pop out nice and easily. And don't forget we have our cavity moulds this morning, perfect for your coasters or for yep. any round decorative pieces of art. Yes, it, they're versatile, they're just a nice round shape. So we have two options at this point. I've pushed the resin close to the edge and I can do two, one of two things. If I would like to coat the edges, like the, the sides there, then I can just push the resin right over the edges. So let it drip. This is where the stands come into play, exactly. isn't it? Exactly, yeah. and then it'll just sort of drip down. I have a silicone mat that I'm working on top of. So again, this can be, the resin once it's cured can just be picked off of the silicone mat and this will be ready to go again. Um, the other option, however, if you don't want to coat the sides, you can just sort of guide the resin out to the edge and you can see, I'll do it for you right now, it has a lot of surface tension. So I can just go right out to the edge and stop. This is because it's quite, well it's very viscous isn't it? It's yes. very thick and clear. Yes, so and it'll create a nice little edge for me there. And remember this is food safe as well, so if you were doing a picture, say if this was a cake stand for a wedding and you had a picture of the bride and groom or whatever, you know, whatever yeah. you fancy on there. Yeah. Uh, and then the thing is you could put this over the top and once it's cured it is then food safe. So if you were putting a cake or something on top of it, I mean you probably have a doily or something there anyway, but if you had a cake on top of it or whatever, sandwiches, you know, volivants, whatever you fancy, then it is completely food safe. It is is not going to transfer any of the resin non, to the actual food stuff. That's right, non-leaching and no BPA either, I should mention. No BPA? Yeah, that might be a concern of people. But What's BPA when it's at home? BPA, uh, do you not call it that here? We call it bisphenol A. So it's like that's pl plastic, isn't it? Uh, yes, yeah. those nasty chemicals that are sometimes in plastics. Well, this does not have that either. You see, it's a very good quality product, Nigel. Well, of course, that's why eight years of uh, <laughs> huge sales around the world are testament to well, that, which is wonderful. And, you know, I'm a mother. Uh, I was an art teacher, as I said, for many years before uh, the art resin gig. Now, your children time. are with us today. They have the most glorious names. <laughs> yes, Zoe and Xavier. Zoe and Xavier. Hello, Zoe. kids, if you're watching your mum on the telly. <laughs> um, which was the one that they did? Because they did some of these over here, didn't that's they? That's right, yeah. Let's see. Um, it's these colourful ones. This nice blue, uh, this nice green. Okay. So how old are the children? So my kids are nine and six. So nine-year-old and six-year-old, and they are literally, look, giving professional results. How <laughs> cool is that? I mean, obviously, you know, because things might be, um, you know, blow torches and stuff like that, adult supervision for stuff, but I mean, that's just so incredibly cool. And yes. I bet, they have, I bet you, you know, they have the coolest mum and dad on the block now, don't they? Well, I mean, I don't want to. <laughs> I'll say it for you so you don't have to, but it's true. <laughs> Well, I, mean, look, I think that when Monday, you show and tell at school is going to be very exciting. I think that when you're a parent and when you're, um, you know, you're, you're a business person, you want something that you're going to know is going to keep people safe and it's not going to hurt them and they're going to have a lot of fun with it. And of course, me being an art teacher, I'm always interested in people being creative and using that side of their brain. So I love the jewelry as that. well. It's just yeah. beautiful. Also, I've got to show this because look we talk about embedding things imagine if this was I don't know like a, a lock of hair or something or a real keepsake dry flowers I mean that's just you know some people beautiful. even will do like ashes of their pets do you know why or, not you know it's a good way to keep things, things isn't that it? are personal and special yeah it is a great way to preserve all of that so lovely now let's go back to our dogs to Teddy and Sam Summer. Summer, summer. Teddy and sorry, summer, Teddy, yes. Teddy and summer. Yes. Um, it's gorgeous. And so now that is ready to be cured. You do, I mean, do you We're need to leave it at a certain temperature or anything? I mean, what's next? Um, the only thing that you need to do is make sure that it's a consistent temperature. Yes. Sometimes people will have, um, you know, their house will go very cold at night. You want to make sure that this is in a room where the temperature stays consistent, and that's all you need to do. If it does go cold, does that mean that it's just going to take longer? Uh, it doesn't yeah. ruin anything, does uh, it? Well, it's, yeah, it, it can take longer. I mean, if it's a hotter room, it's going to cure a little faster but ideally resin likes to just for it to just be consistent lovely 
Yes, so right now I've poured this on, I've spread it out, and you can see there's bubbles in that surface. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna use the torch. Okay. And if we can get a real good close up oh, on this. Oh, you've got then Chris on this, he'll be there. It'll be Don't very you satisfying. Chris, are you ready? Are you ready for camera <laughs> satisfaction? Let's this do, is the part which, that people Where do you want it to go? Which bubble are you gonna go for? Uh, what about this okay, big guy so right here? Okay, so we go here, just so we'll get Chris to get in a lovely close up shot for us. <laughs> okay, we're ready to go? Okay, let's okay, do one, it. Okay, one, two, three. Oh, oh, that's remarkably easy. You see that? So it's kind of like when you iron your clothing. Do you know, it's almost so subtle that it's hard to see on camera. I'm going to say that because literally those bubbles it, just disappeared. It happens fast. Yeah, it really happens fast. And we're done. They ran for the hills. Those <laughs> Look at that. Now, obviously, I'm not going to lift that up because that's still obviously drying. But the gloss and the shine that you have on that. Can we have a look up from the overhead? Is that possible? Can I we see it? Oh, look, don't I've got worry. Here we go. Look at so. this. So here's one 24 hours later. There you go, it. Summer, Teddy, let's put you the right way up. So yeah. literally 24 hours later, that is the kind the of effect that you will get. You go this way, you see that nice gloss in the, in the light? There you go, Fabulous. there you go. Yeah, so. That's just awesome. Um, Rebecca, do you want to get yourself set up for another demo? Sure. Because I am loving this and I am not alone because we are very, very busy. Let me remind you what you've got in that starter kit. You are going to get the resin, the hardener. You're also going to get the spreaders. You get the mixing sticks. You get the gloves. You get the stands. And, of course, you get the torch as well uh, so that you are going to get perfect results. Your resin will be everything that you want it to be. It will be hard. It will be clear. It will be glossy. It will be shiny. And it will be fun. And it will be fun. We love that. <laughs> Here's some more fun for you. Don't forget, you can do lots of things on our brand new app here at Create & Craft. I've got some great news. We've got a brand new app that you can download to your smart TV. You can download your app from the TV App Store or by using your Chromecast, Google TV or Amazon Fire Stick devices. And I'm using the Chromecast with Google TV built in. But they'll all work the same. So let's have a look at the app. So here we are at the home screen. We've got the bar across the top and then underneath you'll be able to see that you can go to your one day special, pick of the week, your new and exclusive and your weekender will also be available there for you. You can watch them whenever you like. Then we've got the live channels. We've got Create and Craft and you've got Craft Extra. And at the bottom, here's a section of content we think you will like. Today, we're showing your paper craft range. You can then go up to the top, head over to Live TV. This is a very easy way to select Create and Craft or Craft Extra whenever you want to watch. Next, we'll go to the TV Guide, where you can see everything happening today, tomorrow, and in the days ahead, so you can plan for your favorite shows. Let's go to Categories. Here we've got Courses, you've got Paper Craft, Mixed Media, Sewing and Quilting, More Crafts, Knitting and Crochet, and Art. So whatever you're into, or if you want to learn something new, you've got all of these sections to go to. Next along is your Catch Up. This is where you'll see your favorite shows that are available for seven days on Rewind. This is really easy to navigate through to find all of your favorite inspirational guests, demonstrations and shows. Next along, we've got your search. If there's anything in particular you want to look for, this is where you use your remote control to search. And that's it. That's your brand new app from Create and & Craft and Craft Extra. So whether you want to watch Create and Craft or Craft Extra, just download your app today. There you go, the joy of the Create and Craft app. Now, good morning if you're just joining me. It's me, Nigel, and I'm thrilled with this show. I've got to say, a fantastic show. The first show here on Create and Craft. In fact, our fabulous guest, first ever time on TV uh, for your art resident. There she is, the lovely Rebecca. Beautiful, fabulous. Waving in her gloves. Every home should have one. Uh, you've got your art resin starter kit this morning because art resin are a company from Canada, and Rebecca has flown over with her family, especially to be here with us for this show, which is brilliant. And already, the starter kit, I'm so pleased to say 50% of the stock has gone when you see what you could be making I mean fabulous things like this for your home for your friends for your loved ones for your business whether it be working with jewelry photographs woodwork paintings home decor whatever it may be the resin that we have got today is the best in my opinion and a lot of other people's opinion the best on the market because you are getting resin that is clear resin that is thick 
resin that is glossy, resin that is solid, resin that is hard, resin that will have no bubbles as well. Um, what I think is brilliant about this as well is the resin and the hardener that you have, we are talking about things that are non-toxic. There are no fumes, no VOCs, and oh, we don't want those, no solvents as well. It has yellowing protection. It will not discolor because it is chemically engineered not to discolor. Uh, it is self-leveling as well. And if you fancy popping a cake or a tray of sandwiches on it, then that is fine because it's food safe as well. So every box has been ticked. The fun element of this, I think, is incredible as well. I mean, creating things like this with colour, with elements, with embellishments, with, with coffee beans, whatever it may be. I mean, if you want to make fun elements, I mean, great gifts and really affordable gifts for friends and loved ones as well. Keepsakes that will be treasured for a lifetime and they will always have a heartbeat in the story. Because it'll be like, oh, great Auntie Rebecca made that. Do you know what I mean? It's brilliant to know that you can make things that are going to be appreciated. Now, the starter kit itself, <coughs> excuse me, very busy for this one this morning. You've got your hard nut and your resin in there. You've also got your stirrer, because obviously you will need to stir things together. You do it for about three minutes. We saw that with Rebecca in our first demo. Uh, you are also going to get your scrapers, your sort of levelers. We saw that as well. Um, and you have your stands, and we have the gloves, and we have the blowtorch. <coughs> Excuse me, your blowtorch. So obviously that's going to get rid of any bubbles. Three flexi payments of £30 on this one. 529504 is your item number on that one if you would like to go for it. Uh, let's look at some of the other items that we've got on the show as well. We've got the big boys. Now, this is the big one of the resin and the hardener. Uh, if you would like to go for that one, uh, it's 694427 is your item number there. Um, Rebecca, why is it worth going for the bigger one? I'm just going to have a drink whilst you talk. Well, because you are going to try the resin out and you are going to realise how versatile it is and how many projects you can use it for. So we've just done a demonstration where I coded a photograph and that we wanted to keep the resin nice and clear for something like that. You would want it clear for a painting, you would want it clear for some other types of artwork, but you can also use colorant mm. in the resin. Which we're gonna be showing in a moment. Which we're gonna show right now. So I think it's better to have the bigger bottles, because obviously once you start, you're gonna to wanna to do more, aren't you? And the well, bigger bottles will what do we more. See. Yes. And they come with flexi pay as well. So three flexi yeah. payments of 5910 on that one. 694427 is your item number there. Uh, we mentioned colours. We've actually got three sets of colours for you. This is the first one. These are the originals, your resin tints. Eight colours for you here. Just a couple of drops is all you need, as you will see from our demonstrations with Rebecca. 233809 on that one. Club price 2609. Now, what about adding metallics? Now, I've got to say, metallics gorgeous. You've got silver, yes. you've got your copper, your bronze in there. Yes. Four of the metallics, 640946. Very popular, those. Uh, and then finally for you, we've got the neons. The neons are absolutely glorious. I love the neons. Uh, the neons, if you would like to go for those, uh, that is four colours that you have in your neons, and you can see this is the kind of effect that you are going to get. That is like the Vegas Strip. That's right. And you know what? The colorants, they do work like paint, so you can mix them together to create your own new colours as well. That's very important to note. Beautiful. Right, now let's see the... Oh, look, we're loving that. Uh, oh, hello. Uh, let's see this in action. So we're going to be using our sure. cavity moulds yeah. and then also using our colourants. Exactly. So these are silicone moulds. That means that the resin will not stick to it. We can pour it in and then 24 hours later we can pop it out. So let's do a couple of different things with these moulds. Just pour it on in just like that. We are going to do one where we use the resin tint. We're going to use we're going to do one where we embed some objects and we're going to use one with alcohol ink to make some fun effects okay so uh nigel do would you like to pass me any one of those resin tints any your favorite any color one of the resin your tints. favorite color yes i'm going to bring them down and you can choose accordingly ladies okay. choice thank you so much well, oh, you're doing i say ladies choice but i do love a red or a purple or an orange in fact any of them okay whichever Fantastic. you fancy so while you're doing that, I'm going to just, I have some coins here. Look, we have some American pennies. Those aren't any use, are they? Well, not at the moment here, no. no. <laughs> not for me either. I don't live in the US. Oh, that's true. Yes, of course, yeah. <laughs> so just to show you, you know, if you were going to embed, you just pour the resin in and plop your, your items as you see fit. A lot of people like to do the beer caps or... See, this could uh, be a lovely souvenir. I mean, I, just, I went exactly, to um, Cuba exactly. earlier this year, so I came back with lots of coins and bits and pieces. Some pesos that you'll never use otherwise. Well, this, is the, <laughs> this is the truth. <laughs> but you could pop these into something like this and you've got a permanent reminder of a beautiful occasion. It's, it's true. It's a great memento. It's a great way to sort of, um, yeah, encapsulate your memories. So we can go 
as to our heart's content. So would on you this. always recommend then that obviously you put stuff in after you've poured? You wouldn't like put the stuff in and then pour it because then uh, it would be. There's no real rules. Okay. It's just that uh, I like to do the resin first because then when I pop it out, there will be uh, a coating of the resin on the uh, the, uh, okay. the top side. You see, because t right now it's the bottom, but when I pop it out of the mold, it becomes the top. You now, see what I mean? I do. Yes, indeed. Okay. okay. So right now, uh, I haven't poured any resin into the last mold because I want to mix in my colorant. So this is the resin tint, just an orange. So and a couple of squirts. Yeah, a couple of squirts. Let's say I wanted to make that maybe a redder orange. And I'm going to ask a stupid question, but that's what I'm here for. No stupid um, questions. I'm assuming that the more you squirt, the darker the intensity of the color is going to be. Yeah, like yeah. the more saturated the yeah. color. That's right. So this is very fun. Uh, we are very busy. Also, we've had questions in, which is always glorious. Do get your emails in, studio at creatingcraft.com. Whilst we have the expert, the queen of resin herself. Mm -hmm. I'm going to call you that. You oh, should have sure. that on a T-shirt, I sure. feel. <laughs> um, this is from... Uh, ba, 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 Carol. Carol is emailed in. She says, Morning, my husband builds model railways. Yes. Nice. Yes. Uh, would this work for a lake effect? Okay, so she wants to sort of pour yes. like a little lake. Would that's that work? Exactly what she, yeah, that's exactly Actually, what he's looking for. And uh, we've got something that sort of shows that as well. Is that the, where's that lovely one with the waves on? Is it? That's oh, right oh, here right it here, is. Yeah. Look at this, Carol. This might convince you because, look, this is something that Rebecca's done. Uh, this is a chopping board and we've got like an ocean waves effect on yes, there. Yes, and that's done with the resin tint as well. That's so beautiful. So it's blue, it's white, it's a little bit of uh, green to make a turquoise in there. I've just mixed up my own colours. I love that. Yes. So this coaster that I'm using here, this one is going to obviously, um, oh, it's going to pop see, out in a nice that? solid like that. And then in this last one here, we're going to use some of these alcohol inks and we're going to make something, something like you see here. Okay. Right. So these ones, we're just going to these are fab, dot it they? in. Dot, 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 dot. So again, no rules. No rules, just all fun. That's um, how life should be. I'm you not know, saying I know you need some rules in life, but you know. Well, some people, they take their art very seriously. And this is an art form that uh, you have to sort of relinquish control because sometimes you don't know what the... That's the fabulous. This is giving me do. Petri dish vibes. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> so, so on and so forth. You just drop to your heart's content. What color is that? That's a good one. And I like to use the white in between my layers of color. Again, I imagine every coaster in your house is just fabulous. People well, just we do have a lot of them. To drink so that they can use the coasters, quite frankly. Do you know what we do back at home? We have, uh, we have a little art studio at our house. Oh, how lovely. And we invite our friends over for wine and art nights. Oh. We're very popular. Why do I not <laughs> live in Toronto? That sounds amazing. <laughs> uh, okay. I love Toronto as well. Gorgeous city. It's, it's pretty nice. Okay, so that's done. And now all we need to do at this point is we, we can use a torch on it. Um, sometimes when the projects are, are on the smaller side, sometimes you don't even need to. Mm -hmm. But um, at this point, what I would do is I would just cover it because you need to leave it for 24 hours. Yes. You need to protect it from some of the dust that could fall in. So here's a question again Or the again, random then. fly. Yeah, random fly or the cat wandering past that's or whatever. Right, yeah, that's right, I, yeah, I hear you. Here's a question. So yes. whether you were doing a smaller project like this or a larger project like the one with the um, uh, summer and... Uh, Teddy. Teddy, thank you. Um, <laughs> earlier, is yes. it still 24 hours for curing no matter what the size of the project? That's right, that's okay. right, yes, because that's how long it takes for the chemical reaction to really take full effect. It's got to go from a, a liquid to a solid, okay. a glossy, beautiful solid. It takes 24 hours for that to happen. Lovely stuff. Yes. Uh, we've only got 20 minutes left of the show. I told you oh we're going gosh. ridiculously quick. Um, shall we sort of whiz into our next demonstration yeah, as well? Because sure, that would sure. be lovely. Um, two thirds of the stock has gone on our starter kit now. I mean, remember it's an angel policy. So if you want to make things that literally are for selling or if you want to make things that are for, you know, charity or to fund your own crafty habit, it's entirely up to you. Um, for all of the readers out there who like reading their books, what about making little bookmarks and things like that? Again, you can. I love this idea. Zoe made these. My daughter. Uh, how old Zoe? She's nine. Oh my word Zoe, well done. These are <laughs> lovely. I mean you can see again the gloss and the shine that you've got on there. I love the fact anything can be embedded. That's the great thing about this, isn't it? Anything can be embedded and it, there really are no rules. I find people get a good idea for, they get one good idea and they try it and then that one good idea prompts all kinds yes. of more ideas. That's the springboard for a lot more creativity. Exactly, yes. Uh, we have another email coming through. This is from, uh, let's have a look, this is from 
Uh, ooh, uh, this is Sarah Armitage, this first one. Let's have a look at this. So, uh, welcome to the UK and welcome to CNC. Ah, could I ask you a little question? Uh, you say that we could make a cake plate, etc., that will be food safe, yes. but it's brilliant. But if we were to cut the cake on the plate with a cake knife, would the resin mark or would it withstand the knife blade? That's a very good question. That is a very good question. So, we say that art resin is machinable. That means that if you were to take a saw, you could cut a nice clean edge. So that's an important advantage. Yeah. At the same time, um, if you were to use a very sharp knife, you could theoretically damage it. Yes. So you have to be careful. You don't want to use something super, super sharp. But if you were to just use, you know, like a, people use these for cheese boards and those little cheese yes. knives, they won't do any damage at all. There you go. I mean, it is yeah. super hard. I mean, it really is. I mean, it's hard, it's clear, it's I glossy. I have a cheese board right so here. So it is protection. They, oh, look, here we go. <laughs> Right. Look at this. So your meats, your some cheeses cheese. can go right on top of that. Um, the wood is fully protected, so there's That's no fab, there's it? no risk in anything you know going wrong with the wood. But then also there's no risk in anything. Um, going into the food that sits on top and it's hard as a rock as you can see it is that's fabulous um, another question for you lovely Rebecca as well from Carol Swift Carol says uh, this board always makes a nice place for me to rest my tablet as well which is great uh, <laughs> do you need to do anything to items that might go moldy if you are in bed if you are embedding items like pl so if it was plants or food e.g. the coffee beans for example um, do you need to do it well, do you need to worry about them going moldy within the resin I would imagine it, not no because if the product is if the coffee beans or if the let's say you did I don't know you could even do like a you know, a sandwich or something. Why not? Whatever you fancy. If, if it was completely embedded in the resin, then no air can get at the food. Therefore, it cannot go bad. Um, also, another question from Carol. Can you put hot cups on the, co on the coasters? Yes, a hot cup is fine. Uh, again, it, it's uh, a matter of how hot is it. So I wouldn't do like a, um, a casserole dish. No. Straight from the oven. That would be too hot. But like a coffee cup is absolutely yeah. fine. Or your mulled wine at Christmas. Not a problem. Not a Not problem. Not a problem. Uh, um, keep fact, those emails coming. It. Studio at CreateGraph.com is the address. Uh, back to the lovely Rebecca. Okay, so right here, I'm going to show you how to take something super simple like a tray. I just picked this up at Ikea. Um, oh, the shops are available. Yes, and it's just, it's something that is, you know, kind of standard, prefab. So I wanted to make it a little more personalized, a little more my own. Do you know, I'm going to turn that around just so we can read the just here for the snacks the right way. Oh, perfect. It's bugging me. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. So for those of you at home that have a Cricut, this was just produced with a Cricut. Or you could do a your scan own and cut or any machine like that. Fabulous. Exactly. Yeah. Or you could, you know, you could do paint marker on this. You could paint an image. You could, again, put a photo. A that, collage of photos. Whatever. Whatever you'd like, the, the opportunities are endless. I but have two grandchildren and I love the idea of doing a collage of their pictures under this. Yes. It would be protected. Yes, well you see here, I mean this is raised up a little bit, isn't it, from the um, the cricket machine and we want to make sure this is protected. If I put a drink on here and let's say it spills, this is going to get wrecked. So true. So we have to so put our true. resin on top. But I'm not going to just do clear resin, I'm going to go a little bit extra on this one. I brought along some glitter. Oh, you know, because why you're not? Messing with why my dreams. <laughs> Glittery got, resin. Yes, and that's the that's the beauty of our resin. It's it's just so versatile. So can you add? You can add pretty much whatever you like to it. Really, anything you want. You can put your color in. You can leave it clear. You can put your <coughs> object. You can put your glitter. You can really just take it to whatever extreme you're interested in. And I, and sometimes <coughs> I leave it clear. Sometimes I I add all the color and the glitter, and it just depends on my mood that day. Really, that is glittered up like a good in there. Yes. I can't bear it. We've only got 15 minutes left on the show. Well, let's just pour this on in, and you'll see it's it's extremely simple. I'm I pouring it. Art resin all day. Look how <laughs> satisfying is that? And remember, this is self-leveling. It's um, self-leveling. It is food safe, so if you're putting your sarnies on there, not a problem. Yep. And there's no fumes, right? So we're using this here in the studio. We're not using a yeah, mask. Yeah, that's true. We're fine. Everything is safe. I mean, safe. obviously, you know, we always recommend maybe if you want to open the window, it's up to you. But there are no fumes. There are no smells. There are no solvents with this. I mean, it's non-toxic non and no VOCs, those nasty fumes. Yes, that's right. It's all pure ingredients in here. No fillers, nothing that can disrupt your respiratory it's system. It's all thriller, no filler. That's, that's right, all like. thriller, no filler. All thriller, no filler. Why haven't I used that one You can yet, have Nigel? that on me. Take that back to Thank Toronto you. with you. Thank you. So again. Every time you say it, think of me. <laughs> well, I will. So here we go. I'm just using the spreader just to coax the resin into the little nooks and crannies because oh. I want it to go right out to the edges. And what a lovely idea. It's super, super simple and it's just impressive. You know what? This is a conversation piece. So when people come over and you serve them your tea and crumpets, they'll say, 
well, look at that. Where did you get that tray? And but you'll say, thing, isn't it? I, mean, I you know, made it We myself. can buy trays, we can buy coasters, everything's shop bought these days. But the yeah. thing is, it doesn't need to be. If you are creating things in your own home, straight away you know that they will be bespoke. So when people invite you around for their lovely wine and art evenings, which yes. I'm living for, <laughs> it's like literally you're going to be like, oh, that's nice. Where'd you get that? Well, actually, I made it myself. I, I made do a it bit myself. of resin art. I made it myself. That's exactly it. And this is, resin is one of those things that you know it looks it looks super impressive. It looks hard to do, but it's in fact is very simple. Again, if you can just measure accurately and stir for three minutes, that's really all it takes. That's all you need to the do. The resin will take care of the rest. Um, if people want more tips and techniques from you, obviously we said 157,000 <coughs> followers on Instagram cannot be wrong, rightly. That's uh, right. So what's the address? Is it just art? It's art underscore resin, isn't it? For the Instagram, yes. For Instagram, and yeah. then on Facebook and YouTube and things like that? Yep, it's Art Resin. So just Art Resin, it's nice and easy. So lots of videos, tips and techniques on there. There we go, so there, that's it, I'm done. I'm done spreading, and that's another project in the books. That's fabulous. Yeah, and obviously gonna... that again will take 24 hours. Yes, this is a bigger project, so I'm going to just hit that with the torch. And Now the blowtorch, of course, from the starter kit. Don't forget the starter kit. Two-thirds of the stock gone on the starter kit. Uh, now approaching 70% of the stock on the starter kit. This is getting rid of those bubbles. I know it's not easy to see on the TV, but let me say in the flesh, uh, any bubbles that are there are running for the hills right now. They are gone. All that's, that's left is the glittery goodness of that. That's just fab. Isn't it cute? That is, and that's going to take 24 hours. So tomorrow when yes. I come into work, that's going to be nice and hard. Yes, you that, can use this tomorrow. Oh my gosh, I'm going to have my lunch on it tomorrow. Okay. Thank you so much. It needs to be done. <laughs> Me and Harry will sit down and have our lunch off here. It would be great. Yes. Uh, right, if you want to go for the starter kit, 529-504 is your item number. Um, do you want to get yourself ready for another demonstration? Sure. Please, let's keep this coming. I'm loving. Uh, let's look at what we've got for you. So we've got all of our hard nut and our resin options. Remember, they come in equal size bottles, no matter which option you're going for, because it is a one-to-one -one ratio between the actual hardener and the resin itself. Uh, remember with your hardener it is going to be, oh you're the resin, sorry, it's going to be clear, thick, glossy, shiny, solid and hard when it actually dries. It takes about 24 hours to cure. Non-toxic, no fumes, no VOCs, no solvents, so none of the nasty stuff. I um, mean, you can use it for, you know, paintings, jewellery, photos, woodwork, you name it. Um, any area of the home for home decor as well. See with the tray, with the picture of the dogs earlier, with the coasters. It is literally not lumpy and bumpy. It is as flat as it needs to be. And it's food safe as well. So if you do want to use it with any food products, things like cakes or sandwiches for trays, etc., etc., chopping boards for cheeses, breads, then you don't need to worry because it is food safe as well. Now, now, if you do want to make your own coasters, you've got your three cavity mold there. Uh, 232, three, two, sorry, so 232072 oh, is your item number on that one. Don't forget, everything's on the website. Tell us, Harry, all the W's what? Creatingcraft.com. Creatingcraft.com. The metallic's very popular, the resin tints. You've got your four colours in there. Um, they look divine when you actually put them into something as well. Uh, so that's 640946, your item number. Uh, right, Rebecca's got her chopping board out. She is ready for action. Again, so this is food safe. So when we... You know, I have a little chopping board here. It's rather plain. It's rather standard prefab, and I'm going to make this my own. This is it. It's nice. It's functional, it's but fine, it's not particularly but it could, it exciting. Could be an, it could be a lot more interesting, couldn't it? it? We, we need to like, yeah, we need to jazz it up a little. Yes, bit. jazz it up. It's a perfect exactly. expression. Okay, so what we're going to do, actually, Nigel, would you mind just grabbing me the white and the green Willingly. resin tint? The please? white and the green. Yes. Oh, so oh, I have, no. I have some resin. There you all. go. There's Thank take them out of them, my lovely. Yep, that's great. Thank there's you the so white, much. there's the green. Perfect. Beautiful. So I have my resin in little cups here, and I am going to put my resin tint into the cups. There's no magic rule to this. Um, you just sort of put your resin tint. See, that's rather fabulous, isn't it? Mm. Just looking at it as well. Oh, this is the fun part. Right, that's right. This so is I, where it all goes sciencey again. I love it. You showed my uh, my little uh, ocean tray and that is what I'm making now. Okay, so this is the effect that we're going for. This is so cool. It really is. I live by the seaside. I live in Brighton on oh, the south you? coast. That's so this, this is a little slice of home for me, this. I just think it's lovely. Look at that. Yes, and it's quite easy to do at the same time. So we're going to mix but you, this you up. you would pay a fortune for that in the shops. You know why? Because it looks so impressive. Yes, and absolutely. people say, oh my goodness, how did they ever do that? Oh, I could never do that. But really, I'm going to show you and it's very, very simple. It's fab, honestly, I love it. It's so clever. So we're just mixing, and I want a different stick for the white. 
So just stirring that around. Um, very busy. Can I say thank you to everybody that's placed their order for this show? Because I know it's lovely when uh, we have new guests to the studio, and especially ones that have come from, you know, a long way away just for this show. Because Rebecca and her family have flown over uh, from Toronto in Canada just for this show. They're going to do a bit of, you know, London and Liverpool at the same time, which is good because Rebecca has family or from family from Liverpool. Yes. They're not there anymore. No, no. they're not there anymore. But that is where my heritage is. How you lovely. See. Yes. Now, you can play around with these colors a little bit. You see, this one looked maybe a little too turquoise. So let's just add a little bit of white to that. So you can blend your colors yeah. accordingly. So for those of you who are, you know, you like to paint or you like to mix your colors, you can really play around. And it's whatever you're interested in, in doing. You like Again, like I said, there's no rules here. So if you, if you like the way the colors look, then you go with that. If you'd like to change the colors, you just change the colors. You, you play around until you've got something that you are satisfied with. And when we do this ocean cutting board you will see how easy it is because all it involves is pouring so we are going to do the darkest color at the one edge working our way out to lighter 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 and finishing with white okay okay so let's do that now i'm and this is where your stands from the starter kit again come in very handy because obviously you're pouring over the edge. We're pouring over the edge. You need to protect your table with yeah. your silicon mat. The bits that drip onto the mat, can you sort of like keep those for later if need be? Well, it will cure because it's been mixed up. So, so th that's a question. Again, it's probably a stupid one, but again, that's what I'm going to no, do. No, it's not a stupid one. Do you know some people get really creative and they actually save the little bits and they cut it because the day after it's uh, it's. A little bit flexible so yep. you can actually cut it with scissors it's a nice little embellishment for if something. you wait a day and a half you probably couldn't do that but if you waited just right at the, at the right time the 24 hours you can actually you know pick it up play around with it and any of the resin and hardener that we've not used if that's in pots like this you can't kind of keep that for another project later on once it is going to cure once it's right, been catalyzed okay. that chemical reaction cannot be stopped so always so. be sort of um wary not wary but always to think about how much you can actually need yes and the ca you know you've got about 45 minutes before this mixture turns hard well that's not bad so no panic no 45 mm. i mean we've been on the show for about 45 right oh, we have 50 to be exact there you go okay so you see i've just done some stripes here and here's Lyris, you've got about a year. So still, okay, a yeah. lot of time, a lot of You'll time. You'll be using it in a year. <laughs> that, is, yep. that is a God given. People use this on a weekend and they yeah. need more on a yeah, Monday. Absolutely. So Okay, so now I've got a hair dryer. It's just a regular hair dryer. Again, if you're trying to pop the bubbles, you want to use the torch. But this is a technique where we are intending to actually blow the resin around, okay? Okay, so this is actually the hair dryer from the, like, the presenter's bit here at Create Graph. Yes. So if Yanis comes in today, he can't blow dry his hair. That's all I'm going to say. Sorry, Yanis. <laughs> okay, so we've got our colors laid out and ready for this ready. it's gonna um, yes, go quick. absolutely okay here we go okay oh oh look at the wave effects hello that's fabulous oh that i love straight away oh there you that's go. awesome so that's just one way to do it. That is awesome. Yeah. Oh my gosh. How close can we get on that, Chris Director? Because that is just, that makes me want to swear it's so good. It's <laughs> flipping amazing. Look at that. And I just did the little end of it. But oh. you know what? I could have done much more of it. I could have added more shades of blue if I wanted to. We've got five to. minutes left. Can we do the other end? For sure, yeah, yes, I have extra, possible? yes, absolutely. Oh my God, that's too much fun. Okay, I love let's... that. Um, if you would like to give you a starter kit, this is the kind of thing that you could be doing, remember. That starter kit, how are we doing? Is it 70% of the stock, did we say? 70% of that stock is gone. You are getting the torch, you are getting the stand, you are getting the gloves, you're getting the mixing sticks. You are getting your spreaders in there. You get your resin and your hardener as well. And you are getting a whole host of inspiration because you are becoming part of the art resin family. Think about all of those videos online, all of that tuition, and all of that interest, all of that aspiration mm -hmm. and inspiration that you can find all over the internet, courtesy of Rebecca and Art Resin. Yes, that's my full-time job, just to give information and inspiration on how well, people can get creative. Well, you do it so well. well. Thank you. I do have fun with it. I think that's the key. If you're having fun, then I hope that translates, oh, honestly, right? I've, ne I've never seen the presenter's hairdryer used for such good things. <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> Normally, it's just to sort our hair out. Not me, obviously, but... <laughs> Again, you see, there's oh, no real rules here. I'm just pouring it out just at will. 
And oh, like I said, there's a little bit of like, um, there's a surprise element to art resin because sometimes you don't know how it's gonna turn out until it's actually done. There's, uh, you gotta relinquish a little bit of control and I think that's really the beauty of it. Okay, this is fabulous. So again, it's gonna take 25, are we ready? Right, we're ready for the close up, Chris. We're gonna do this other oh, side ba, ba, now. Ba, 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 we ba, good? Ba, ba, ba. Yeah, we are ready. And you see how there's like lots of cells happening on this yeah. side, right? So that's the beauty of it as well. This is just wonderful over here. Okay, right, here we ready. go. Yeah, we're ready. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, it's literally giving me beach at home vibes. I love that. And the wavy ripples that you get, I mean, it all kind of like settles down, doesn't it? And that's when the little, the, almost like, not the bubbles, but those little sort of patches of colour start coming through. That's right. It changes over time because, again, this is a chemical reaction that's happening. And so it, the, it's going to do its thing. It's going gonna, it's gonna to have its own life. And that's I really think that's that. the beauty of it. And there's bits that are on the actual silicon mat as well, because obviously there's a lot of stuff here. I'm thinking we can't waste this because it all looks fabulous. Yes. So these bits here, once they dry, you can pick them off the silicon mat anyway. Yep. Uh, can you cut into it? You can cut into it. You can even, um, at, at the 24 hour mark, you can even twist it and you know sort of manipulate it a little bit. Yeah. So some people do things in, in that respect as well. I mean, there are no rules when it comes to art resin. The only rule is measure accurately and stir for three minutes. That's all you need to know. Couple of questions. If we were trying to use this on a project that goes outside, is yes. it weather resistant? So this is actually waterproof, which okay. is another good thing to note. Again, if you wanted to wash this off, let's say you had your meat. Well, that your was cheeses. my other question. What about dishwashers and things like that? Dishwashers, I would, I would just, I would use caution. Okay. Yeah, I would use caution. So hand wash. Yeah, I would say mm. hand wash. Um, treat it gently. But do you see this, these waves happening here? The beautiful cells that are coming to light now. That's just incredible. It Doesn't it really look like is. I spent hours on that? It does. And do you know what? I mean, I said I live down in Brighton. It's like if you go in, there's a place called the Lanes down there. I don't yes. know if you've ever been. It's yes. like it's just lovely, but the shops can be quite expensive. Uh -huh. This you would be paying, I swear, probably about 40, 50 pounds for easily. Well, easily because it's just and how simple was that yes well in canada this was this cutting board was about seven dollars okay and, but canadian. Now, if you were buying it now how many dollars would you be able to get oh, for that oh my goodness i don't know in canadian dollars yeah i would say at least 80 at least so, I know, I know maybe 120 i've no idea how much that is but that's you know? a great markup on seven dollars that's it? right that's fabulous that's right but it's not it's not simple anymore it's it's now special it's personalized it's unique it's yeah. one of a kind oh it certainly is i mean you know? i love i couldn't fact. even i couldn't even do that again if i tried it would always look a little different a little different a little different so. I mean, th it's all about that personalization should we hold these up because I mean these are just fab two fabulous pictures I and mean, this could be a photo from a holiday that you've had somewhere glamorous and exotic and then over here we have got the classic pooch shot haven't we we've got the lovely summer and Teddy that of course is Rebecca and her husband's dogs and you can see just how beautiful that looks because mm -hmm. you've got that protective layer of the resin on the top Rebecca can I say thank you so much well, I have thoroughly enjoyed the show it has been a joy will you come back again on craft extra at 11 o'clock with Charlie because sure he's going to love this. Um, please go for the starter kit. A seventy percent of that starter kit has already gone. You got the resin, resin, the resin, the hardener, <laughs> mixing the two, which is what you do one to one ratio <laughs> with right. your spreaders, your mixing sticks, your gloves, your stand, and your torch in there as well. Three flexi payments of thirty pounds. It's a complete angel policy. You can add color. You can add embellishments. You can add coffee beans if you want it's entirely up to you from Rebecca and myself I'll see you the other side of the break and Rebecca's back on craft extra at 11 o'clock this morning from both of us take care and bye. happy resonating bye bye